it's hard to come up with anything other than a forecast of sluggish employment growth. We're anticipating about 125,000 net new payroll jobs next year uh, versus about 87,000 per month, that is, per month so far this year. So we're anticipating an increase, but still that's not very robust growth. You need about 125,000 per month just to accommodate the growing labor force. Um, we think the office market will recover at about half speed, the vacancy rate coming down by about one percentage point in 2011 and again in 2012. And that's true of other property types as well, with the exception of apartments, which are recovering more quickly. Now, as far as something unexpected to look for, um, you know, the, I, I believe here at the end of 2010, we're in a better position than most analysts, myself included, thought we might be. The recovery is a little bit more firm. Uh, than we expected a year ago at this time. And I guess I would say that maybe there is some upside risk now. It does seem like the economy is stabilized and we're getting some pretty good readings on some of the economic indicators. And so if that continues on into 2011, we might see uh, a little bit stronger recovery in the leasing markets than we're expecting. And let's keep our fingers crossed that that happens. There are a number of ways to look at the European debt crisis. I think the overall, uh, the overriding effect, though, is that it threatens the stability of the global financial system. I think a strong euro is uh, in everyone's uh, benefit, um, and we want, we would like to see the European Union survive in its present form. Uh, we don't want to see more threats to global financial stability. We've been through that. You know, we've had the black swan effect. We want to see increased consumer and business and investor confidence. And to the extent that what, what's happening in Europe threatens or undermines that confidence, then that can't be good for investors uh, and, and asset classes in general, including commercial real estate. So what we really want to see is more stability, not less, in the Eurozone.